Did you get along with everyone on the Golden Girls? I mean, oh did, yes, you did. Oh yes, B was not that fond of me, but yeah, I well, loved, I know. I've heard that. I don't know. What is I that don't know about? what I ever did. <laughs> I don't know, but she was not that thrilled with me. <laughs> but I loved B, and I admired her, and I just. And I can't believe I'm the only one left because yeah. I was the oldest. It's so silly. Well, Estelle Getty was not as old as she played on that show, was she? Uh, Estelle was younger than she was playing. Much yeah, younger, yeah, yeah. much younger. And the makeup people had to spend hours putting wrinkles and, and all that, you know, to make her look. And, of course, the wigs. So the first, hi the first summer hiatus that we had, she came back, she had gotten a facelift. <laughs> so makeup man said, what? <laughs> wow. I, I read that she, um, she never wanted to do any jokes about death because she no, was scared she to die. She, she was mortally afraid of death. Yeah. She really was. And uh, didn't think any dead jokes. Were. And I can't tell you the number of funeral homes and scenes by caskets that we played, but she was never happy. She was it. afraid. Mm -hmm. well, you, are you afraid? My mother has the most wonderful approach to, to death. She always, even growing up, she said, well, we know so many things. We know almost everything in the world, but we don't know what happens at right. that moment. A lot of people think they do, but they don't. She said, so whenever we lose somebody, she'd say, now he knows the secret. Oh. And now she knows the secret. Oh, that's a nice way to put it, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in a life after death? I'd like to think so. It yeah. would be interesting, if, <laughs> if providing that I'd earn the privilege of choosing what I do. Where are you going? Yes, yes. I don't want to be president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's a new um, as, uh, preacher talking about how there's no such thing as hell anymore. That they don't they don't believe in hell anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like an, uh, one of these evangelical preachers is saying that he doesn't think there's a hell. Maybe, Which upsets people. Maybe he figures he's already been there. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> that could be. Because, you know, people don't like that idea because that means that people like bin Laden are not going to go to hell and Hitler and the, the evildoers of the world. So. Well, the human being, the human animal, I love everything with a leg on each corner, but the human animal is a vengeful <laughs> creature. And they, we wish very bad things for other human animals. I know. Animal animals are really much nicer. Well, they, they, it's not so much nicer. It's just that they don't lie to you, and you can't lie to them. I That's mean, right. you, you, you level with each other, That's and I like true. that. That's true. That's true. Even when they look at you and they want you to get them something, they're being very direct. I love that about I animal. love it. Yeah. I do, too. Now, and you it, know, last time you were here, I'm sorry. No, no, something? go ahead. The last time you were here, um, you outed Cary Grant. Do you remember? You outed Cary Grant last time you were here. Do you remember? No. <laughs> You did. I said, you, you said to me, I wish we had the tape to show you, but I said, um, they're saying that Cary Grant was gay. And you said, oh, of course, everybody knew that. Well, everybody talked about yeah. it. I didn't know for sure. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know. No yeah. one knows. No one knows. And, and it's none of our business. No. And his daughter recently, she wrote a book, and she was saying that he was amused by that rumor, Cary himself, because it made the girls think that they could, you know, lure him over to their side, and yeah. he enjoyed the, the flirtation. <laughs> so I, I just... I don't care. That's the bottom line. I don't care with avec whom you sleep. I just, if you're a decent, nice human being, that's the bottom line. Well, in the old days, it, no one ever thought anyone was gay. I mean, people didn't think Liberace was gay. I mean, that really is uh, blindsiding yourself, in my opinion. Well, Lee was a great and dear personal friend. Yeah. We both, Don Federson found Liberace and Betty White and Johnny Carson and the three of us all started out together. Uh -huh. Well, uh, there were premieres and stuff out there so Don Federson would have Lee escort me maybe to a premiere or something. He'd set it up, you know. Uh -huh. So, Well, one windy night we arrived at this premiere and we were getting out of the car and Lee got out first, Liberace got out first, <coughs> and turned around, and I thought he would, so I reached out my hand, I thought he was going to help me out of the car. He was holding his hair because he didn't want it to blow. <laughs> I loved Lee. He was one of the nicest people you'd Everyone ever Everyone says know. that. He was a lovely guy. He was a sweetheart. But, you know, but he wasn't straight. That was the one thing that we know about him. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs>